Welcome to Tuesday Tips. April is Fair Housing Month. Our Tuesday tips will cover fair housing during the month of April. We thought that we would highlight it by having some fun as we learn. Learning can be fun, you know. The goal is for you to take away a few facts from the sessions that will make a difference in your fair housing knowledge. Now, all you'll have on these slides will be the alphabet. You'll have a question and then you will have the beginning alphabet. You have have to fill in the blanks. Now, let's have some fun and test our knowledge. Number one. First, we have race, color, sex, disability, religion, familiar status, and last but not least, national origin. How well did you do? Let's try it again. Number two, disability that limits one or more life activities. at the answers to number two. This one was a little harder because you have to think about the disabilities. We have walking, seeing, dressing, speaking, talking, hearing, learning, working, and my favorite, breathing. Let's look at number three. Topics that are under the fair housing umbrella. umbrella, these topics come up under our fair housing. Retaliation, Violence Against Women's Act, Limited English Proficiency, Hoarding, Reasonable Modifications, Reasonable Accommodations, Sexual Harassment, and last but not least, we've had a lot of these lately, Parking Restrictions. Oh, wasn't that fun? Now number three, phrases to avoid. Look at the phrases that we should avoid saying not to intimidate ourselves during fair housings, such as you people, empty nesters, singles only, couples only, no children, Christian neighborhoods, adults only, English speaking. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something from it. Next week we'll do true and false. We will continue to do our fair housing quizzes and explanations the month of April. Thank you. See you next time.